Yes, finally, League Play was announced officially, and we're only a few days away. And today, we are talking about the loadouts that you can use inside of League Play, and the weapons, the perks, and how this all comes together with the preset classes that should be in place here for League Play. And we're talking about it all today. So without further ado, let's get right into this thing. We got a lot to talk about. Let's go. So like I said, we are only a few days out from League Play, but we don't yet officially know if it's going to be preset classes or not. But in this video, we are assuming that that's going to be the case. If it's not, I'll probably just take down the video. But my goodness, there is a lot to talk about. And these are the preset classes that are currently in the game that were officially released and you're sifting through them. There are a lot of options. And so today we're talking about which of these options are the best to use, when you need to use them and why these certain things exist in the game. So if it all feels a little bit confusing, you're in the right spot because we're gonna be talking about it today. So first of all, you might be wondering why are there preset classes? Why can't I create my own classes? Well, that's because gentlemen's agreements exist. Competitive Call of Duty has some different rule sets than what casual like pubs Call of Duty has. So Pro Cod is banned some things and instead of just banning the a certain attachments, or banning the certain guns, they decided to go with preset loadouts this year, and that's why those are there. If you want a full GAs list, I actually have a video about the, the full GAs list with the pinned comment having all of the GAs. You can go check that one out. And we do a lot of videos around here about tips, videos, and learn from the pros and everything else. So after this video, you can go check those out as well. But right now, the preset classes are only accessible in the CDL Pro game mode. So there's like CDL Pro Hardpoint and CDL Hardpoint. They're two different game modes. You need to click on the CDL Pro game mode to access the preset classes currently. So you're looking through the list. Your only option for SMG is the 74U, and then you've got two ARs to choose from, the XM4 and the Krig. Right now, XM4 is the more used weapon in competitive COD. It is the overall better weapon, and generally the Krig is more for specific situations, maybe a few certain maps, maybe an S and D as well, but the XM4 is overall the more versatile AR. And personally, my preferred AR right now to use. Some main ARs might prefer the Krig, but overall the XM4 is just the better option, I think, as a whole right now for the majority of people. Also, you're seeing some gameplay from Express. Hot fire, I'm hyped to be playing it and having a blast doing that. And I was experimenting with some, with some different settings in this game, so that's why it looks a little funky. So if you're wondering why there's no smokes or no snipers, again, it's the gentleman's agreements. And it exists because smokes are a one-way smoke. And when you're inside the smoke, you can kind of see out of the smoke or vice versa. It's really inconsistent and something that Treyarch needs to patch. And the pro scene just cannot play with a broken item like that. Snipers need to be GA'd if there aren't smokes because otherwise the lines of sight and S&D are just broken with a sniper, and that's why. So if you're wondering like, yo, which gun should I use or which one is the best to use inside of League Play? Well, it just kind of depends on the type of play style that you have. Obviously, if you prefer to use an SMG, use an SMG. If you prefer to use an AR, use an AR. In Pro Cod, there's a little bit of a difference between roles and positions. So you'll have like a SMG, a flex, and an AR, and then like Slayer, main AR, support, or example of roles that you can play inside of COD with the positions that you have of SMG, flex, and main AR. So a flex means that in certain maps or in certain game modes, you use an SMG, or in other maps and other game modes, you use an AR, and it just kind of depends on the situation. Whereas then you'll have the main ARs and you'll have the main SMGs, who only use that weapon 100% of the time. Generally, most maps have a two SMG, two AR meta. A few maps have a three one either way. It depends on the situation, like Crossroads and how you wanna play Crossroads in your team strategy, or like Checkmate or Insertion Destroy. You might have like three ARs and one SMG depending on the map. Like Moscow, you can play some interesting strats that way with using more ARs or on Checkmate, you could run some different strats with using more ARs. It just kinda of depends. And hopefully we can have Express in the rotation here very soon. And we can talk about that one as well. But we have a lot of videos talking about certain strategies like that on the channel. So definitely go explore and check those out as well. And the other broad things to talk about is you might be wondering why only the trophy system is allowed. And that's also interesting because pros actually have a three trophy system gentlemen's agreement. So generally in the pro scene, only three pros actually use their trophy systems because Treyarch isn't very good at balancing these things and you get way too many trophies on the map otherwise. And so that's gonna be something to watch out for inside of league play because those gentlemen's agreements might not exist. That's why engineer is a part of a lot of these classes so that you'll be able to see where opposing trophies are, shoot them down and help your team. Which again, in a strategy sense, will make trophy placements even more important in the future inside of league play, especially with having so many engineer perks potentially 
on the map at once. So anyway, that's a whole different topic inside of the classes themselves. Again, it all comes down to the map, the mode and the situation, what you want to use. Most of the time I'm a main SMG, so I would be using the 74U, usually just with tack, black and ninja for that class. Although with league play, I could definitely see if you want to gauge at the beginning of the game, okay, these guys are using a lot of their flashes. They're they're much better at using their trophies or they have a ton of trophies on the map. And that's something that you can decide based off of how the opposing team is using their equipment, using their lethals, their tacticals, their trophies, and how you want to go about that. But either way could work pretty well. It depends on the situation. And then as for ARs, again, I'm always leaning the XM4 and probably a similar strategy there with the perks as well. Because we're limiting down to the Semtex and the Flash, there's no concussions, no normal frags either. So pretty straightforward there and not too much else to go off of. The Diamatis is just as simple as always. And uh, I think it's really going to be interesting with the preset classes as a whole. Overall, I don't think you can really go too wrong with any of these specifically, but you are just going to truly have to play it by ear based off how the other team is playing and go from there with which perks you are specifically using for each class and how you want to strategically use the engineer as a whole. So if you guys have any other questions, drop them down below and I'll definitely be doing some more videos on strategies and how to use these things in game, considering it's gonna be a pretty important part of this year in Call of Duty. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you guys really enjoyed it. I really do appreciate it. But as always guys, I'm your boy Savage Lee and we'll see you next time. I'm out.